Why do we even pull teeth? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about pulling teeth, tooth extractions. And in this video, we'll be talking about permanent adult teeth, not baby teeth, because baby teeth are simple. They fall out to make room for your adult teeth, right? But adult teeth falling out? Why would that happen? And why would you ever want a permanent tooth extracted? Let's talk. One reason an adult tooth would need to be extracted is because of gum disease. So gums hold your teeth in place, right? And your bone, which is under your gums, holds in your gums and your teeth. So with gum disease, the diseased gum infect the bone underneath, which leads to bone loss, which leads to literally nothing holding in your teeth anymore. So over time, when gum disease gets severe enough, your teeth either fall out on their own or you need to get them extracted because they are only hanging on by a thread and it's better to get them out and then get either dentures or implants for functional purposes of eating and chewing. Another reason teeth get extracted is because of tooth decay that was left untreated. Cavities are a communicable disease. They spread and they grow. So if you have a small cavity on your tooth that needs a filling, but you you keep putting off getting the filling, in time that tooth decay will spread to the nerve of the tooth, leading to a tooth infection in the nerve. And then once the tooth is infected or it has an abscess, the only way to save it is with a root canal. However, if you put off getting the root canal, over time that tooth decay and infection continues to spread across the entire nerve and enter deeper into the root of the tooth. And in this case, a tooth would no longer be salvageable with a root canal and you need to get that tooth extracted so the infection doesn't continue to spread. And the last reason that you might need an adult tooth extraction is because of a fracture. If the tooth is broken in a certain spot, usually if it's down the root, you can't fix it with a crown anymore because a crown only fixes the crown of the tooth, not the root. Oftentimes a deep fracture will require an extraction and a tooth replacement such as an implant or a bridge or a partial denture. I do have a video all about the different tooth replacement options if you'd like to learn more about what to do after you get your tooth extraction. I will link that in the description box. But before we get to after a tooth extraction, really quick, let's talk about what to expect during a tooth extraction appointment. First off, your dentist will either perform the extraction procedure themselves or they will refer you to an oral surgeon. It just depends on the case. Either way, whether you're at your dentist's office or your oral surgeon's office, the first thing we will do is make you comfortable. Numb you up with local anesthetic the shot. And you might also be offered laughing gas or even twilight sedation, depending on your needs. I do have a video all about the different sedative options, which I'll of course link in the description box if you'd like to learn more. So once you're nice and numb and nice and comfortable, then they will start to pull your tooth. Most of the time, if you're getting your tooth pulled out due to gum disease, it will come out pretty quickly, more easily. However, no matter what the reason is that you're getting your tooth pulled, the molars will always be slightly longer appointments because they are bigger teeth with more roots and more anatomy, right? And the front teeth are smaller with one root. So they tend to come out easier, but it just depends. Again, you'll be numb, so you won't feel anything. You won't feel pain. None of this really matters, but you will sometimes feel pressure. That's normal. You might feel like someone is touching you, but it's super gentle, a tapping pressure. Nothing more than that. They will make sure you're nice and numb. And again, depending on the sedative option you choose, you might barely be awake. You may barely notice anything that is going on. I do have a tooth extraction animation video. If you'd like to see the whole process, of course, I'll link that video of mine in the description box as well. But then once the tooth is pulled out, out, they will often give you gauze to keep in your mouth to stop the bleeding and they will often give you instructions on how often to change the gauze once you get home if needed. It just depends on a bunch of factors so wait and see what they tell you about your individual post-op instructions. I will also link my recovery after a wisdom tooth extraction video. Since wisdom tooth extractions are still extractions, the post-op instructions in that video will help you recover no matter which tooth in your mouth was extracted. In all, to prevent tooth extractions, be sure to properly brush at least twice a day and floss and or clean between your teeth at least least once a day to reduce your chances of gum disease and cavities. I know it sounds so basic and so silly, but it's truly the most important thing to do every single day, brushing and flossing. Also, just as important, be sure to visit your dental office routinely for exams and cleanings so they can continue to monitor your dental health and lower your chances of, of course, gum disease and cavities, but also lower your chances of any unexpected tooth fractures. Because oftentimes clenching your jaw or grinding your teeth can increase your risk of tooth fractures, as well as certain sports and activities. So always, always, always talk with your dentist about anything in your life that may increase your chances of getting hit in the mouth because then they can recommend the best type of sports mouth guard or night guard, whatever you need for your individual mouth. Thank you again for watching. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.